Hello guys, it's Bilal here uh, from Pakistan and uh, today I'm gonna make the worst matchup top 5 character tier list for Brian and uh, let's start it without wasting more time um, So I will be making tier list of the worst matchup against Brian uh, only for top 5 uh, characters season 3 I think uh, uh, and whatever I will add in the list will be according to my uh, my personal uh, mind my personal opinion uh, so I think uh, the first character that goes to the worst matchup of Brian is uh, Akuma <clears throat> and the reason uh, that while I'm adding Akuma in the f uh, list of that worst matchup as the first character is that he can interrupt everywhere uh, against Brian he can interrupt with 1-1 one, one, Fireball, he can interrupt with jump, he can int uh, uh, jump on 3 plus 4, he can, he will never miss a punish on uh, down forward 2 3, which is minus 13. He will always punish that move with down forward 1 2. And uh, the best thing, which is forward 4 4 is minus 10, and Akuma can punish that move and actually start a combo if he has meters, which is very bad very cheap thing in the game he's actually breaking the rules i agree and uh, i might as well play akuma but uh, i'm not that good so yeah so i think uh, these are the reasons and also his back back is very strong there is one thing uh, maybe i will add a video about that as well suppose if i am in the rage and we are standing uh, very close to each other and I will try to do rage drive of Brian and the, my opponent does back back he can easily easily do that back back only some character can do this Akuma, Zafina, Alisa maybe Alisa have a low uh, range on back back, uh, back back but Zafina and Akuma are very strong in back back but I think the Akuma is more worse for Brian so yeah now so akuma is uh, first in my list okay let's go for the second character Leroy, mm. zafina pakumram julia geese eliza kazumi steve paul jin kazama or <clears throat> I think uh, second character that comes in the list of first matchup for Brian is that's a very difficult thing to say so i added uh, steve fox this is uh, according to my personal mind my, my, my personal opinion uh, for the worst matchup against Brian, so I think Steve is a very, 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 very difficult matchup for Brian uh, because he have the uh, back one. He is good in stance. He have down forward two, which is a good move. And uh, Brian actually cannot uh, punish. I mean, sorry, actually cannot use that thing. You know what? Uh, suppose I'm playing Akuma against Steve. 
and uh, a steep player uh, does down forward two and he comes in the flicker stance and tries to block the things what i will do i have two options i can do down three fireball and i can get a combo or other than that i can do neutral two if you will try to pa uh, parry down three i mean these are the best combos or i can do down forward three i can do down forward one but suppose if i am playing brian okay i think you cannot do a lot of things if i will be trying to do soccer kick against uh, uh steve when he tries to do down forward two and uh, he comes into the flicker stance and i does soccer kick he can hit me with forward three two and he will definitely get a counter hit uh i can do forward three but it will be kind of safe every time i can do down back three i can do down back four i can do down forward two i can do down forward one and uh, but the thing is what i'm saying is that i cannot use down forward two's chance if i'm playing brian and um, definitely this is a kind of good advantage for steve against brian so back one walikum salam how are you back one down forward two and uh, down down one as well down one somehow uh it's minus 13 somehow you cannot punish that move if you block that on purpose you cannot just punish it fast uh, fa uh, very fast so yeah i think this is why there, there there are some other reasons as well maybe i will add them and uh, which is uh, down two and two the the only uh, thing that comes uh, into my mind is back one back one is very strong guys uh, against many moves of brian suppose on um, a whiff back one what punish you can give him forward four one is not a low frame move you cannot punish him every time like if he does 10 whiff back one i myself as a brian player i can punish maybe two of them maybe three of them maximum maximum with my forward four one thank you my friend so i think uh, that's a big reason that uh, brian is uh, not good and uh, for using jet upper uh on whiff of back one against steve jetapper is very difficult to do you need a lot of confidence to use jetapper as a punish on back one you need to be closer to steve uh, you you need to know that he's not gonna do the crusher back two so these are the things which are like very important uh against steve and this is why steve is an advantage and um the matchup goes to Steve. He's one of the hardest matchup for me uh, as a Brian player. Thank you for the raid, man. Thank you so much, TK Nibs. Thank you so much, bro. Really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed your stream, man. Thank you. Welcome to my stream, guys. So, so let's go for the third character. Without wasting, uh, wasting more time, <clears throat> I think I will go for Eliza. Where is Eliza? There we go. Everybody know that what people are doing in Pakistan by playing Eliza. So there are not many reasons that I should explain those things. I mean, she have every tool. She was in underdog, and uh, nobody would knew that she is very strong. Many players were playing with uh, her, but I never saw those uh, uh, things that uh, recently came up. 
you know ryuk leonidas he is very strong player of eliza then Ati started playing then aslan started playing then farzine then arc was a very strong player of course he's one of my favorite uh, player of eliza and uh, you can say my favorite player not only one of my favorite so you you see uh, khan was playing now avasan is playing uh, yugi was playing uh, and many other players tried him same like Hakuma, when people go to know that Hakuma is very strong, when Hani Avasani brought him on the stage and he beat it a knee. Same things have been happening with Eliza uh, by many players in Pakistan. They haven't gone to the international events yet uh, due to COVID. But suppose with the same things, with no nerve, Eliza uh, player, like is someone like ARC goes to international tournament he will beat the hell of many players he will beat them he will beat many of the players with uh, his unique Eliza he's very strong his mind mindset is very strong he knows when to do uh, when to use uh, DP when to use neural four when to use uh, power forward three four he use you know when to use Y setting two. They have some setups where they go for down three or down one uh, on the wake up, and then they give uh, down uh, Y setting two. And uh, your opponent tries to your opponent thinks that maybe they give a whiff with down for down one, and we should punish with Y setting three. But they they go for Y setting three, but the Eliza player they does Y setting two, and they get hit and they get launched. There are many other reasons as well. Uh, he, her neural neural four is thirteen frame, but she uh, have a kind of different hit box than Alisa. I think if I choose one of the the neural four of Eliza versus uh, uh, Alisa, I think I think Eliza have better neural four than Alisa. Not only against Brian, it's against Akuma as well. You know, whenever, whenever Akuma goes for the jump and you do neural four, it's hundred percent confirmed. Most of the time, let's let's say eighty percent confirmed. Eighty percent against a character which is OP, which is changing or breaking rules in Tekken, Akuma is a big thing. 80% guys so I think uh, right now uh, when we are speaking about Brian versus Eliza so of course she can punish on 4 4 4 uh, she she don't have down 3 like Akuma but uh, she is strong with the in uh, with that move in the wall of course she have 4 4 2 down 1 bloody down 1 counter hit fireball combo that should not be in the game 4-4-4-1 four, 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 one, and 1 fireball gives a combo which is totally unfair with uh, uh, other characters like they don't have those tools 4-4-4-1 four, 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 is minus 14 but she can give you uh, 1 fireball or EX fireball I mean totally unfair suppose you are blocking 3 moves 3 moves and even after those three moves, she is in 50 50. You cannot judge that power power four one EX fireballs, which move is gonna come. You just will have to read the mind of your opponent. That is four is coming, is two is coming, or unblockable one plus two is coming. So, I mean, that's a very difficult thing to judge uh, when you are playing against Eliza and even you know uh, same like Akuma maybe better than Akuma because uh, her EXTPs gives her wall flat combos Akuma, Akuma doesn't get those combos I mean if Akuma does two DPs EXTPs he won't get a wall flat but uh, Eliza gets that wall flat somehow uh, I don't know why they gave her uh, this move, uh, DP wall splat combo. Her dive kick, of course, her dive kick is very, very worst thing in the game right now. It's minus 10, but you don't know when to punish, right? Uh, down for one is good. Down for one, two gives you a free move. And uh, 
why strange 2 is saved what is the reason of why strange 2 being saved even if she is uh, she will not get a counter hit on why strange 2 it hits you only on uh, block only on hit uh, without counter uh, she can get a combo by doing uh, dive kick 3 plus 4 uh, in ex mo mode that's totally unfair she have a lot of options to win the round same like geese she have down one counter eight combos now which is totally unfair i think they should the main thing they should uh, uh nerf in eliza is down down one combo why saying two combo without uh, uh without counter eight i think and um, dp should not be wall, uh, give her wall splat anymore or i think yeah for now uh, these are the all things i have in my mind right now oh so, yeah uh for me eliza is very strong against Brian. So these are the top three characters for Eliza for now. Let's speak about the fourth character against Brian. Julia. Hey, thank you, favored by a chance. Thank you so much. I think fourth character in this top five list, according to my mind, is uh, I think Kazumi is not uh, more uh, uh deserving to be in top five worst character for brian i think so personally so i will add leroy and before leroy i think the fina these are my top five for me against uh, them i i feel really like they are really worst matchup for brian if i speak about zafina she have the one of the best down for one one of the best down for one two was minus 14 but now it's only minus 13 down for one two one plus two is minus 13 uh why starting one two is a big cheap move in the game down for 2 is minus 12 or minus 13 yeah and uh, 4 for 4 and uh, she one of the best uh, tool that she have in the game is her back dash her stance which is almost safe you uh, she can block uh, even in the stance she can give you a crusher every move she uses in the low move as uh, like suppose if she's in the stance she can do down 3 1 she can do neutral 2 counter it will give you a combo Two, one and if you get hit by i think four gives you a combo on counter eight as well so one three i think the, the, this is why zafina is very strong somehow uh sometime you know uh suppose uh, i know that my opponent is gonna do uh with the fina is gonna do down three and i will give her i will give uh, orbital it will not hit her which is totally unfair the uh, orbital should hit her of course uh there are other moves as well same like uh, uh down three there there is back one plus two back one plus two sometime it will not hit with the uh, orbital and uh while saying one will not work on orbit uh back on the two because she makes a lot of range uh between the opponent so you cannot actually punish with uh while standing one with brian 
uh, and uh, three plus four, of course. You know, as a uh, Brian main, if I play against uh, some good Zafina. Uh, I can't keep using 3 plus 4 because her backdash is very strong. She can uh, get a good wave. She can give me punish with down forward 2 even on a big range. Down forward 2 have a good range uh, to launch um, Brian easily. Even after the wave of 3 plus 4. Down forward 2, 3. Uh, many characters cannot punish uh, that move every time. Like Steve cannot punish that move every time. Uh, but there are some characters like Akuma, Zafina, and uh, Leroy, and uh, Devil Jin, Mishimas. They will never leave uh, Brian. But this is not only what explains uh, uh, if the, if any character can punish that move easily every time. That not only in the bad uh, worst matchup list for me, but uh, Zafina is something else. You know she gets. Um, Wall spat you know, on Dofa 1 4, which is totally unfair. I think she should get same like Kazumi's back too. She should be like uh, rolling in, but should not get a wall spat on Dofa 1 4. Even uh, after back two of uh, of Kazumi, she's not getting any, any more rolling. She is uh, like just standing uh, position. Uh, your opponent is only in, in standing position. So I think it should be something like that. Down for one uh, four should not be wall splat. Her movement should be <clears throat> not that strong. Backdash is very strong. Double back is very strong. As I already explained, that uh, two characters or three characters in the game can easily avoid Brian's rage drive, uh, even in, on in the close range. Cause uh, sorry, Akuma and Zafina. You have a good size step, of course. While standing one two comes from nowhere, you cannot judge that while standing one two is gonna hit or no. So Leroy. As I already explained uh, in the tier list of uh, multi, that why uh, Leroy is strong against Brian, and he's really strong against Brian. So Leroy have back one, back one plus two. I will give a short explanation on Leroy. Back one, back one plus two, a four four, back four, health sweep, down two. People don't know how to punish down two very well, or I mean, they are not in very very good against uh, Leroy. Uh, but I, as a Brian main, I have played against Leroy a lot. But still, I am afraid of his back one. The true back one, and uh, of course, pop kick, which is actually orbital. So yeah, this is why he is uh, very strong against Brian and against actually every character. Where will I put Paul? So, by the way, guys, this was my top five hardest matchup for Brian, and uh, maybe I will think about this tier list again, and uh, maybe I will make some differences. If not, then I will upload on my YouTube channel. So, if you don't know, I have a YouTube channel, and uh, I will just mention in the chat. So, if you don't know, just go to my YouTube and subscribe. Because every every uh, thing I discuss on my Twitch goes to my YouTube. So guys, uh, thank you so much for being on my stream. Thank you so much for watching uh, me speaking about the tier list hardest matchup for Brian. So.